what is a thrust when a solid is placed in a liquid liquid exerts a vertically upward force on the body that is called a thrust it means a solid experiences a vertically upward force in a liquid this is called a thrust now what are the factors on which a thrust depends now i'm going to present the factors affecting the a thrust what are these factors all thrust depends upon following factors. What are the weight of the displaced liquid? One of the great scientists, Archimedes, told that all thrust depends upon weight of displaced liquid. Exactly what he told, according to his principle, Archimedes' principle says that all thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid. What is the meaning? Meaning is if a solid body is in liquid, whether it is sinking or floating, doesn't make any difference. If a body is in liquid, then it experiences a thrust, which is equal to the weight of displaced liquid. Look at this. Let's take this example. Here, I have taken two bodies. First body, let's say this is A, and second is B. A is immersed, half only, ab about half. But B is immersed completely inside the liquid. Let's say both of them have same volume, but one is immersed half only, another is immersed completely. It means this body, which is immersed just half, is displacing less amount of liquid. Let's say one Newton liquid is displaced by the first. What is the meaning? It means it experiences one Newton of thrust according to Archimedes' principle. Archimedes' principle says that of thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid. Now, look at the second. Second one is completely immersed in the liquid. What it mean? It means the liquid displaces more. In this case, if it is one newton, here it may be two newton. It means this body experiences two newton of thrust. That's why of thrust depends upon weight of displaced liquid. More the liquid displaced, the weight of displaced liquid will be more. More the li liquid displaced, more will be the of thrust, according to Archimedes' principle. Now, second point. Of thrust depends upon density of the liquid. Let's take this example. Here I have taken two different liquids. Let's say this is water and this is mercury. Density of water is comparatively very less, about 1 gram per cubic centimeter, exactly 1 gram per cubic centimeter in case of 4 degrees Celsius of water. And let's say Density of mercury is 13.6 gram per cubic centimeter. Now compute their density. Mercury is very dense than that of the water. Now, if a piece of gold is placed in water, it will sink in water because gold density of gold is very high, 19.3 gram per cubic centimeter. Since its density is greater than water, it sinks in water. Its density is greater than mercury, it sinks in mercury also. When it is placed in water, it sinks in water. It, when it is placed in mercury, it sinks in mercury. Because its density is greater than water and mercury. But when it sinks in water, it will displace, displace this much amount of water. Let's say, how much is this volume? The same amount of water will be displaced. And when it emerges in mercury, the same amount of mercury it will displace. According to the measurement of volume, both of them have equal volume. But this mercury, second one, is very dense. That's why this much amount of mercury weighs a lot. And this much amount of water weighs very less. So weight of displaced liquid in case of mercury is very high than that of the water. And according to Arminist principle, what is told? of thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid that's why the same piece of gold experiences more of thrust in mercury than that of the water it's very simple now it means we can conclude that of thrust depends upon what density of the liquid more the density more the of thrust now third point of thrust depends upon volume of the body emerging to the liquid it can be understood by this First example also. In this case, the volume of the body emerged into the liquid is less. But here, volume of the body emerged into the liquid is more. That's why 
since here volume of the body immersed into the liquid is less osmosis is less here volume of the body immersed into the liquid is more that's why osmosis will be more actually these two second and third point are directly indirectly related with the first point in these two cases also actually if density is more then weight of displaced liquid will be more that's why osmosis will be more if volume of the body immersed into the liquid is more then uh, then weight of displaced liquid will be more and that's why osmosis will be more that's why we can conclude that osmosis which is an upward force exerted by a liquid on a solid body uh, depends upon three major factors the prime factor is weight of displaced liquid and other factors are density of the liquid and volume of the body immersed into the liquid